adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expressions. How do we add and subtract similar rational algebraic expressions? Let's have here an example. We have 3a plus 8 all over a plus 3. And we are going to add this. So plus a plus 4, a plus 4, all over a plus 3. Okay, these are similar rational algebraic expressions because they have the same denominator. And just like when you add fractions, to add similar rational algebraic expressions, we will just copy the denominator. Our denominator here is a plus 3. And then you add all the numerators. We have here 3a plus 8. And this will be added by the other numerator we have here a plus 4. And then you combine like terms. We are going to combine 3a plus a. And then we are also going to combine 8 plus 4. Oh, let us now combine the terms. We have here 3a plus a, that is 4a, and 8 plus 4, that is positive 12, all over a plus 3. And before we say that this is the final answer, let's check first if we can still simplify the numerators and the denominators. So, for a plus 12, we can see here that 4 is common between 4a and 12. We are going to take out 4. Okay. So, once we take out 4, what will be left here will be a. Since 4 multiplied by a is 4a, and then we are going to divide 12 by 4. So, 12 divided by 4, that is plus 3. And this is all over a plus 3. So we can put a parenthesis there. And looking at the numerator and the denominator, we can see that we can cancel out the quantity of a plus 3. Since the quantity of a plus 3 divided by the quantity of a plus 3, this will be equal to 1. And what will now be left, and what's left now will be positive 4. Therefore, positive 4 now is our final answer. Here is another problem. We have here a squared minus 7a minus 7 all over a squared minus 25 and this will be added. Okay, so we will add here Four a minus three, so we have here four a minus three all over a squared minus twenty five. Again, just like similar fractions, we are going to copy the denominator of similar rational algebraic expressions. So we will just copy here a squared minus two five, and then we are going to add all the numerators. The first numerator is a squared minus 7a minus 7 and we're going to add 4a minus 3 and we are going to combine like terms we have here a squared and then negative 7a plus 4a this will give us negative 3a and negative 7 minus negative 3 this is negative 10 all over a squared minus 25 and then since this can be factored out we will factor this out what will be the factor of a squared of course that is just a multiplied by a and the factor of negative 10 we will find factors for negative 10 that will give us a sum of negative 3 okay since this is negative the larger factor should also be negative Let's try positive 1 and negative 10. Okay, there's some positive 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9. This is not equal to negative 3. 
let's try positive 2 and negative 5 so 2 plus negative 5 this is equal to negative 3 and we are going to use these factors so this will be positive 2 and negative 5 and let's factor out a squared minus 2 5 again the factor of a squared will be a multiplied by a and the factor is now of positive 25 this is a perfect square and since this is negative this will be positive negative and this will be 5 multiplied by 5 and looking at the numerator and the denominator we can see that we can cancel out the quantity of a minus 5 since this is equal to 1 what will be left now will be a plus 2 all over a plus 5 again this will be a plus 2 all over a plus 5 therefore a plus 2 all over a plus 5 this is now our final answer our next problem we have here x squared plus 5x plus 7 all over x squared plus 12x plus 36 and this will be subtracted this will be subtracted by negative 3x minus 5 all over x squared plus 12x plus 36 looking at the rational algebraic expressions we can see that their denominators are the same so we are going to subtract similar rational algebraic expressions just like in adding similar rational algebraic expressions we will just copy the denominator so we have here x squared plus 12x plus 36 afterwards we are going to subtract all the numerators the first numerator here will be x squared plus 5x plus 7 and then this will be subtracted okay subtracted by you have to copy whatever sign okay so we have here negative 3x minus 5 and then we will have x squared plus 5x plus 7 and then negative multiplied by negative that is positive 3x negative multiplied by negative that is positive 5 and the denominator is still x squared plus 12x plus 36 we are going to combine like terms x squared is only one term so we will write here x squared and then we have here positive 5x plus positive 3x this will give us positive 8x and positive 7 plus positive 5 this will give us positive 12 all over our denominator is x squared plus 12x plus 36 looking at the numerator and the denominator we can still factor this out okay let's factor out first x squared plus 8x plus 12 the factors of x squared this will be x multiplied by x and the factors of 12 we are going to find factors for tw positive 12 that will give us the sum of positive 8 okay so the factors of positive 12 1 and 12 okay 1 plus 12 is 13 and let's try 2 and 6 so 2 plus 6 is positive 8 so positive 8 here is equal to our second term therefore we are going to use these factors we are going to put here positive 2 and put positive 6 here and then let's factor out x12 plus 12x plus 36 again the factors of x12 this will be x multiplied by x and about what about the factors of positive 36 okay let us look for the factors of positive 36 that will give us the sum of positive 12 so for positive 36 we have 1 
and 36. Of course, this is 37, 1 plus 36. How about 2 and okay, 18? 2 and 18, this will give us 20. Okay, let's try 6 and 6. Okay, let's try 6 and 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So 12 here is the same as our middle term here, which is positive 12. We are going to use these factors. So we will put here positive 6 plus 6. As you can see, we have similar terms on the numerator and the denominator. We have here the quantity of x plus 6 and the quantity of x plus 6 that is equal to 1. And what will be left now? We have x plus 2 all over x plus 6. Therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 7 all over x squared plus 12x plus 36 minus negative 3x minus 5 all over x squared plus 12x plus 36. This is equal to x plus 2 all over x plus 6. And this is our final answer.